Oh yeah! Oh my god, tunnel vision! Hey guys, welcome to another TFL drag race video. We're here at Bandemir Speedway, a mile above sea level. If you watched last week, we took that Model Y and we matched it up against the Hellcat Red Eye Challenger. And uh, quite frankly, we had trouble launching it. <laughs> he is so far behind me. I have no traction. <laughs> Let's see how fast this Tesla is. So this week we brought an even more expensive car, but something that has, well, something unique. And I need a buddy. We've got the new Mercedes-Benz GLS 63 AMG. Yep, and unlike the Hellcat, it's all-wheel drive. So now we've got an all-wheel drive car versus an all-wheel drive car. Which one do you want to drive? Uh, the red one. I think I'll take the full electric. All right, and I'll take the Mercedes. Let's go hit it. Here's a question. What are you supposed to do when you've got a cool old truck like Project Gunsmoke with no stereo in it? Well, rather than buy a cheesy aftermarket head unit, you could get yourself a Cove Commuter 2 Split. I've been enjoying this Bluetooth speaker for a while now, and it sounds surprisingly rich and deep with its tones. It definitely sounds better than the factory stereo in this truck ever did. Take a listen. And when paired to my phone, it allows me to call hands-free with its built-in mic. Now check this out. Normally, this speaker gives you 360 degrees surround sound, but when you split it into two parts, you get two speakers for a true stereo sound experience, which means you're getting two speakers for just over $200. The water-resistant Cove commuter will last up to seven hours on a single charge, which means there's no need to drain your vehicle's battery at a campsite or at a tailgate. So if you're tired of muddy audio in your old truck or car, or you just wanna upgrade your desktop or backyard sound system, click on the link in the description below and get over 64% off this bad boy by using the code FLT64. All right, dude, let's do this. Which one do you think will be quicker down the uh, straightaway? What a great question. You're in the Top Dog GLS with over 600 horsepower, over 620 pound-feet of torque. I'm in the Model Y Performance, um, and I have no horsepower or torque numbers because Tesla doesn't uh, publish them. But what's the price difference? Uh, give or take $100,000 more for this car. Yeah, that's a big difference. So, Dad, this is my first ever time going down a drag strip. So I'm super nervous. I mean, some people spend the whole line feeding up tens or hundreds of a second, and I'm out here a nerdy 23-year-old in a red electric bubble. <laughs> Next to guys in big block Camaros, so I'm pretty nervous right now. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty nerve-wracking. People don't quite understand that when you line up just how much, uh, you know, stress there is. Plus, time you get this, you're wearing a dirt bike helmet, so you know it's serious. To be honest, I feel pretty silly. All right, I am putting my car into Sport Plus mode. Uh, which is uh, as uh, you know sporty as this gets. I don't have a track mode, and I don't think I have launch control, so I'm just going to try to you know brake torque it a little bit and uh, hopefully get a good launch. This time we both have all-wheel drive, so that's good. All right, Tommy, first time down the track, dude. Here we go. Probably nervous as all hell. All right, I'm super nervous. I'm a little nervous actually too. These Teslas are supposed to be super easy to launch. I'm rolling up, rolling up, rolling up. When the light turns green, now! Oh, that's so fast! And we're up! Oh, he's got me! What the heck, Tesla? That is unbelievably quick! Come on! There's a hundred. There's a hundred and ten. Wow, sir! <laughs> All right, so how was that, Tommy? That was just incredible. Thank you. You're Appreciate it. Oh. I matched my dad's time exactly from last time. 12.101, which is the exact same time you ran in this Tesla last week. And then the uh, Mercedes did a 13.27. Yeah, uh, my top speed was uh, 104 and yours was 112. Uh, my reaction time was pretty bad, 0.624. Yours was pretty bad, 0.430. I mean, you know, the pros just nailed that. What a rush. That was absolutely absurd. You know, there's a lot of talent that goes into drag racing, but there's no talent that goes into drag racing in all-wheel drive Tesla. You basically just batter and hold on. 
what percentage of battery? In the last week's uh, video, somebody commented that uh, you have to have 70% or more battery in the Tesla to get the full uh, power. It will be placed to the limit 72%. Yeah, so you do have full power. So I'm at 13.2 at a mile above sea level. I think I can get this car into the 12s. You want to try again? All right, under the hood of the Mercedes is a uh, big old V8 with two turbos built by uh, Patrick uh, Kochler. Kochler, Patrick, thank you for building this AMG for us. Much appreciated. It has 603 horsepower, 627 pound-foot of torque. It has a nine, there you go, speed automatic transmission, and it has a Sport Plus mode, but no track mode. What's under the hood of the Tesla and how much horsepower, Tommy? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Tesla will tell me it could be 200, it could be 600. It's probably less than 1,000, probably more than 100. But it's got dual motors, one in the front, one in the back. It's got a hell of a lot of double A's underneath, and that should mean it's pretty quick in the drag strip. I'm ready to do this again. I really, uh, I can see why people get into this. I mean, with the Tesla, basically, it's all about the reaction time and having a good charge in the battery. I guess I could strip out the interior. Do you mind if I strip out the interior on your $65,000 car? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think we got to do a lot more with it than just uh, drag race, so let's not do that. But did you notice there's a smart car here? For that hero in the smart car, I applaud you to no end. I think that is so cool. It could be an electric one, too. Could you imagine? Look, here he goes. Let's see what the smart car will run. Oh, he's off. Major burnout with the smart car. Did you see that? And he's getting cream. The smart car driver has a reaction time like you do. 20.18. Not bad at all in the smart car. Good for him. Good for that dude. What a hero. All right, here we go. Air conditioning off, traction control on, and the Tesla is waiting for the light. Oh, good line for both of us. That's so much acceleration. Good, better. Oh, come on. Holy cow, it never gets old. There's 90. Oh, my God, Mercedes. Definitely dies out around 90. Oh, go, go. This should be better, though. And across the line. Wow, we that's so fast. I saw the time, Tommy, since I was behind you. You were 12.1 again. Well, shoot. There's no skill in this. It's just based on battery charge and, well, I guess there's a lot of reaction time skill. Um, that's such a cool feeling, though. At least they launched together, but then uh, I would say after about the first 10 feet, you start walking away from me. I used 2% battery on that run, in case you're wondering. You did 13.2 in that... Uh, GLS, I did 12.129. Oh, your reaction time got much better, 276, 0.76, and mine got better, 2.415. Yeah, 0.276 isn't bad for me, I'll take that, that's pretty good. You know what's crazy? So the first time I ran a 13.279, the second time I ran a 13.226, so 226 versus 279, that's, you know, almost identical as well. Well, you know what, let's swap cars and try it again. Tommy. It's a little loud and windy. It's very loud, but now we're going to switch cars. I'm going to jump in the AMG 63. My dad's going to jump in the Red Catfish, and we'll see which one's quicker. All right. Uh, question is, can you get it into the 12s? I was running 13.2, so maybe with your uh, lean cuisine body here, uh, you can actually get it. I mean, that's 100 pounds. It shouldn't make a big difference. Not when the car weighs more than the Bismarck, but we'll see what happens. Uh, let's, let's walk. Okay, I'm in the Tesla now. All right, GLS time. Let me scoot my seat forward a little bit. God, Tommy, what does he sit like? How does he sit up so high? I think this one will run the same time as always. Like I said, it's like a computer. I think I'm not going to do as well as you because I don't have the experience, but we'll see what happens. You killed me just now on the reaction time, so, you know, you've got uh, youth and reaction. I've got cunning and age. I'm watching these Camaros and M3s and Mustangs and Supras run, uh, and you know, quite honestly, they're not going much faster uh, than this Model Y performance. Yeah, we've got two Mustangs and two Supras doing like 13s. It's pretty standard. Come on, come on. There we go. I just floored it. Anticipate the light. 
Oh yeah. Oh, bad reaction. Bye bye. Oh my God, television. That was horrible. And <laughs> Mercedes is gone. Come on, AMG. Wow, that sound. Oh, it pulls hard after 80. <laughs> Woo wee. That is so fast. That instant torque is amazing. So this isn't quite as violent as the uh, Tesla, but man, once you hit 90, this thing really starts to cook. Yeah, I bet you in a longer race it would actually start to come back on the Tesla, don't you? Yeah, it's like a 15 or 20 mile race, I, th I think I'd, I'd start to catch it. Because even if I'm being honest, at 95, you're still uh, well ahead and maybe even inching away. I think that time, my reaction time was really good, actually. I was amazed, Dad. You did like 0.175. I think I did like a 0.475, so you killed it. See? Age and cunning, Tommy. Age and cunning. Yeah, congratulations. I, uh, I'm i still pretty crap at this, but I'm having fun, and that's what matters, I guess. Thank you. You're welcome. Howdy. Hi. Thank you. You're welcome. Interesting. So you did go faster than me. You went... Uh, 13.217. Yeah, at a terrible reaction time, 0.75, uh, 0.475, excuse me. 13.2, that's pretty darn quick for a, a car that has heated and cooled cup holders. Yeah, yeah, and I went 12.136, uh, and get this, my reaction time, 0.152. Uh, that's, uh, that's getting down there, you know? Uh, that's uh, almost getting into double digits. Credit where credit's due, that is impressive. 112.87. Um, you know, I don't think this thing's going to go any faster unless Tesla does an over-the-air update and maybe gives us a little bit more performance. Once again, a 12.1 on the dot. Well, 12.1. Oh, you did a 12.136, so really your weight was uh, almost inconsequential. The eighth mile went by in uh, 7.820, and you went 8.55. All right, well, there we have it. That was so much fun. I really enjoyed that. You know, next week, we've been taking all these fast cars. Next week, let's take, uh, let's take Tweety. Uh, and something else to race against. Let's see how an electric smart car does. 10-4, can't wait. You know what? That is a barrel of monkeys, Tommy. And I gotta say, um, Tesla wins the day again. 12.1 on every single run, but the crazy thing is that Mercedes, 13.2 on just about every single run. It's so consistent. Yeah, you would think that an electric car, being very computerized, could do that, but you know, that thing's got a bunch of uh, turbos and pistons and exhaust and all these things that have to work together, so to get a consistently similar time, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, and we had so much fun out here on the track. I'm sure a lot of people out there will say we're doing this badly, but I don't care because I had a big smile on my face. Yeah, and come on out here, guys. If you want to race us, maybe one day we'll actually have you come out and take on the team. So until next week, this is Roman. And Tommy. Check out TFLcar.com for the latest and greatest in new car reviews. All right, well, I, I did get a uh, power reduced. Oh, shoot. That's a bummer. Looks like I got it a little bit too hot there. Power reduced, front motor temporarily disabled. Uh-oh. Not great. I got a, uh, a power reduced warning. I think it got a little hot, but it's back to full power now. All right, I'm lining up against a dude in a dually uh, Cummins-powered Ram. Let's see if the electric Tesla can take him. It's a lowered Ram too, so it's going to be interesting. Come on, this is for Tesla. Not a big fan of Musk, but I am a big fan of winning races. All right, he's spooling up. Oh, took him! Yes! Go electric power! Not even close! And I had a worse reaction, and he is miles behind me. Oh, I'm so proud of you, buddy. Oh, what a feeling. Just goes to show you don't have to destroy the atmosphere to have a huge amount of fun at the drag strip.